All rise. The Honorable Judge Love presiding. Please silence your cell phones. No outbursts. And overall, just shut the hell up. Common Sense Court is now in session. <laughs> Cases on the docket today. Monique. Monique is being accused of uh, going too hard at black women and uh, somehow saying negativity and tearing down black women. That is what Monique is accused of. Uh, Monique made a statement uh, about her experience recently at the Atlanta airport. Uh, can I see the evidence at hand, please? I was in the airport in Atlanta because I'm in Jackson, Mississippi now. And as we began to walk through the airport, I saw so many, actually too many to count and too many for me to tap. But I saw so many of our young sisters in head bonnets, scarves, slippers, pajamas, blankets wrapped around them. And this is how they're showing up to the airport. And the question that I'm having to you, my sweet babies, when did we lose pride in representing ourselves? So I'm just giving y'all a warning. If I see you in the streets, in the airport, in the Walmart, and you got a bonnet on, and you got slippers on, and you looking like, what the fuck? Are Nikki going to tap you? All right, all right. That, 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 that's enough. I, I've seen enough. Um, I, I, as I look at the evidence, let me, let me, let me say this. Like, you can feel how you want to feel, but never at any point in time has a dude ever seen a woman out in public with a bonnet, pajama pants, and slippers on and say, Woo, that's a bad bitch right there. That has never happened. So for you to say that it's okay for you to be out in this and, and somehow this is your blackness, see that's, see, that's another thing I got a problem with. Who are you? Why do we let the hood dictate what's black and what's culturally appropriate and what culturally represents us. No, ma'ams. Your bonnet at the grocery store and at the airport and pajama pants, that's not black culture. I refuse to accept that. I refuse to accept that this is a representation of how we get there. You're not going to make me believe that that's what the fuck we do. If you don't get your mom's maybe ass somewhere and fucking comb your hair or put on a hat, nobody even saying you got to be made up like you get ready to walk the catwalk. And that's what Monique is saying. And for full disclosure, I admit I don't agree with everything Monique says sometimes. I, I, we, I definitely disagree with a lot of things she has said. But on this, I believe Monique is 100% on point. Point. And she ain't say y'all ugly. What she said is you're disrespecting your inner beauty by doing it. And somehow she is downing black women. Why? Anytime you call black people out, somehow you are infringing on their rights to be black. No, some of you motherfuckers is just flawed. It is what it is. And if nobody calls you out, that's why when you con we constantly have these conversations about why we this and why this is happening to us and, and we talk about these shootings and these people acting a fool, that's because nobody feels like they should be checked. We are in we're in a the, the evidence before the court has shown us that one of the biggest problems out here is the fact that we have a generation of kids, and I'm calling you kids because it takes a child to have a mentality to argue against a woman telling you to have self-respect and pride. You are arguing against self-pride. How in the fuck do you argue against having self-pride? We are, we, they, we are in the midst of a generation who feels like they should not be checked on anything. That they should be able to do whatever they want to. Nobody should have anything to say and there are no consequences for their actions. That's not the planet we live on, people. That, that's not the planet we live on. That's not the society we're in. 
I, I, I don't know. And then the last thing the court wants to point out about this particular case is the fact that black people, who we gonna listen to? Could somebody tell me who we gonna listen to? Because it seems like there is nobody we are willing to listen to, take advice from, or be checked by. We seem to be uncheckable. Nobody can say nothing to us. Who are we gonna listen to? Because if we, if we, if we, anybody who comes out and tells us that you're doing wrong, or let's do better, we tear them down. So who y'all gonna listen to? Let the court know. I'm sitting here waiting on that evidence to be presented to the case so I can mull over that evidence and see that person's credibility because clearly y'all don't want to listen to nobody. Uh, no, the Christianity is the white man's religion. That's what you said. Uh, the Islamic faith, uh, it don't speak to black people. So you tell Elijah Muhammad down. You, you tell Farrakhan down. So you don't want to listen to Farrakhan. You don't want to listen to white man's religion. You don't want to listen to the Jews. You don't want to listen to black people. You, Nick, you don't, Nick Cannon stuff for black people. You taught Nick Cannon down. Monique stuff for black people. Last year, y'all was Monique. Ah, Monique, show them what you're worth. Tell them what your worth is. This year, you're on some fuck Monique shit. Black people, who you going to listen to? You don't want, I, I, that's, that's, I, and that's a question. That's an honest, legitimate question. Who you gonna listen to? I'm not saying you got to listen to Monique. I'm not saying who you got to listen to. I just want to know who the hell do you want to listen to? Because it seems that you don't want to listen to no damn body. So I find Monique innocent of the charges presented before me. I do not find her guilty of tearing black women down. But what I do find is I find black people guilty of always canceling people simply for the fact that they ask you to do better. Next case! Uh, it seems that that is the last case on the docket for the day, so if there's no further business with the court, we will adjourn. <laughs>